Well, do you ever feel screwed by the system? <laughs> well, here's your chance to screw it back. <laughs> and actually, you know, some of us get screwed more than others. It, you know, it's so complicated and man, but it's something to figure out, you know. And actually, you know, screwing the system back is really not, you know, doing something malicious. It's really finding the cracks. It's finding the opportunities in the system or whatever. I mean, that's what the fat cats do with a, uh, the tax code, right? They go in and they dig that out and they find all these little, oh, hey, I could do that. That's not illegal. And all this kind of stuff. Well, that's what I've been doing for like, you know, almost 40 years now is finding little opportunities like that for people to take advantage of the system that is there for everybody if you figure them out. Now, I've been doing research for Ah, it was like 40 years now. I mean, I had the first information brokerage company really back in the 70s down here on K Street. You know, and I started with me, a phone on the desk and a group of about 30 people. And all we did was help fat cats find these little opportunities, you know, that are available in the system for people to take advantage of. You know. And after helping rich people for about five, six years, you know, I grew to about 30 some people, you know, and bigger than I ever thought I would be. And I said, man, that wasn't fun. Now I see that rich people will find somebody and pay them thousands of dollars to find these little opportunities. Now what I devote my life to is finding these little opportunities for the average person out there. Man, there's opportunities for everybody, not only the rich fat cats, yeah. <laughs> and so what I spend a life doing <laughs> is researching these little opportunities, putting them in books and now on the website, whatever. And I do a bunch of these almost every day. Yeah. <laughs> and that's what, what I put together is a collection of like my top 45 of them or something like that, 43. I think there are of the best ones I found in the last couple of years, you know, just about two years, you know, of research because I, I do research every day trying to find little things that people may not know about, you know, because all the good stuff is not advertised. And that's the problem with Google. You're going to find stuff. If you Google any kind of help in this country, you're going to get people going to sell you stuff and they're advertising. They want people to know the real good stuff doesn't advertise. And that's what I'm trying to show people all that real good stuff out there. That's not advertised. <laughs> so you know about it and can live a life better and take the advantage of it, whether it's money or free services or all these kinds of things that are out there that is usually by nonprofit organizations, governments or websites that are doing something or the new economy that's going on now. You know, these are opportunities that people don't know about. So I collected a lot, about 50 of these for people to do and put it in a video ebook <laughs> for people to have it in one place. Now, let me go through some of these. So like, you know, there's now an app to find free food in your area. <coughs> so many with, with urban gardening and, and people growing f food and vegetables, we have so much food that's available for free. And now it's being put on an app for people of any age or income can take advantage of it. Wow, that's right. Or how about here for pet lovers? There's now a place for almost 800,000 pet lovers to make up to $39,000 a year just because you like animals. You don't have to move, you don't have to go somewhere, whatever. <laughs> just right in your home. I mean, it's a wonderful effort. And actually, that's a great uh, travel thing, too, that you could travel to other countries and, and stay for free because somebody's out of town and you take care of their pets. So you want to go to, you know, Florida? <laughs> well, somebody has a house, but they need somebody to take care of their pets. <laughs> and you go down there and live in Florida for the winter <laughs> for free. Or, or how about you know, uh, Portugal, <laughs> something like that, or, or uh, anywhere in the Virgin Islands. Yeah, that's a terrific advantage of. Oh, here, I found an app that gets you to shovel your snow for free. You get your sh snow shovel for free. We had a terrible winter here <laughs> in Washington, D.C. Yeah, we had f two feet of snow. What about the people who can't do that? Well, there's an app will do that, and I tell you all about that. Or how about tech support? You know these scams on the internet? You know, where you, oh, something's wrong with your computer. Call now or whatever. That's somebody just ripping you off. <laughs> so that video will show you how to get rid of that <laughs> and get that kind of help for free. Uh, and also I have another video that shows you how to get free expertise on anything. You don't have to pay for expertise in this country anymore. You know, it is so free. That's why <laughs> consultants have trouble, <laughs> you know, maybe making money, <laughs> but that's fine because expertise is, I mean, I talked to millions, of, not millions, but dozens or hundreds or even thousands of people who found the expertise they need for free, start a business with it, solve problems or whatever. That's what this is. So I have a special video on that. Uh, 
or how to stop paying tuition, I mean, college application fees. College applications now cost about 100 bucks a pop or 50 to 100 bucks, man. So you're applying to 10 colleges, that's a lot of money. And there's ways around that too. Uh, or here, I have an interview of a, an IRS expert who shows shows you how to write off your living expenses on your taxes. See, again, you don't need an expert. I show you how to do that in that video. Now, that's a great video. Uh, or how about this? There are uh, government officials that will collect bad checks that are given to you. Somebody writes you a bad check. What are you going to do? Chase them around the world or something like that? No, the government will find you yeah, and get your money. Yeah, because now that's more powerful than any lawyer you could do or whatever. These are the same people that brought your desert storm will go after that bad check for you. Yeah. Uh, now here's another item I, I cover, and these are all videos. They're short little videos, <laughs> a collection of them in the video we book. One that how <clears throat> if you have a small business, as long as you have customers, you can get a loan. You know, like small businesses, you can't get a loan bank. It's even hard to get an SBA loan and things. But as long as you have customers, man, this is a platform. That means it's a website where people come, they want to loan money to good businesses, and they have different criteria now. See, everybody in the banking business is, is following the same rules for the last you know, 50 years. The world has changed. It doesn't matter if you don't have a banking credit or what kind of credit. As long as you have good customers, man, you get the money. How about free cars for Christmas? That's right. That's a nonprofit organization that does that. Or how about grants for down payment on a home? That's another video. Grants, down payment, closing costs. You know, you got to keep up on this stuff, particularly if you want a home nowadays. Okay. Also, the law lets you pay off your student debt, you know, if the college lied to you. Wow. How do you know that? Wow. Oh, that's a great thing to know. So I show you all about that. Are grants for high school kids to take college courses while they're in high school. A Pell Grant for high school. You don't have to wait till you graduate to go to college. If you want to take a course at a local college, because a lot of students do this now, high school students, man, that costs a lot of money. They don't have it. Well, now you could use Pell Grant money for that. Uh, actually, here's the new economy is creating few jobs, but millions of income opportunity. See, that's the thing. So you have these big corporations or whatever that are, are now worth bazillion dollars, but they're not creating jobs because it's all a website. But that website is creating millions of jobs. That's why you have to learn this. That's why you have to know about these things to be able to take advantage of where the growth is. You know, uh, like Airbnb. You know, that's the you know hotel rooms around the, uh, the world. You know, they're as big as Hyatt Hotel, but they only have like 2,000 employees. Hyatt Hotel is 150,000 employees, but. Airbnb has a million people making money from it, right? <laughs> the only 2,000 employees, but you and I, anybody can make money from it. Okay. Uh, PayPal offers small business loans with no credit check. Now, isn't that cool? Or how about <laughs> you can borrow internet from the library. Take it home free. Get a little box of the library. Some like public libraries have this. <laughs> so Comcast charging you, you know, 100 bucks a month or whatever. No, go to the library, give you a little box for free. Yeah, that's it. Or here, the, the library will actually do your uh, set up things for you on the internet. You got to set a business on the internet. You don't know how to use Facebook or one-on-one -on -one consulting for free. I got a video on that. Uh, okay, how do you use the internet to pay for legal bills? That's right. You get money to pay legal bills on the internet. I'll tell you about that platform or whatever. Uh, and it, it, here's a, a great video too. It says, don't <laughs> buy a franchise, create one. Everybody's making money in the franchise industry are those people who put up a franchise and say, hey, I want to make, I want a franchise information business. Okay. So then you get them to show them how to get government money <laughs> to get a franchise, give it to you. They go out of business and you get the money. People make zillions that way. Yeah. Uh, or how about the government collects money for you and you get like life lock. You know, they have identity theft. Okay, well, they were lying to customers and now uh, the FTC is getting $12 million for people like you. So you, I want to know about that. How to make money in real estate without having real estate. Right, that's a video there too. The smartest way to get a graduate degree for only $5,000. This is a disaster in our country. People paying $50,000 a year or whatever to go to college. You know, being in debt, hundreds of thousands of dollars or whatever. Man, no other country in the world happens that way. You go to uh, college in Europe, you know, for thousand dollars. You could be a U.S. citizen. Go over there, thousand bucks, get a degree from a wonderful country, <laughs> a university. It's better than most of them here. You know, but we don't think that way. That's right. They're trying to do is shake you up a little bit and think about this other thing. 
Okay, here, here, I, I show you a website here. One Stop Small Business Entrepreneurs to Get Money and Free Services. One, one website, you put in your zip code, all the offices there that are getting grants right in your area to help you, to, you know, with your business or, or get a 50% raise and no college education on a job. So you, <coughs> you want training or whatever? So you can get a raise with a certain kind of skills. Skills You don't need a college degree. I was reading data the other day, 50% of the people who have college degrees are in jobs that don't even need them. So it may not be for you. And here's a way to get a 50% raise without a college degree. Uh, how to use crowds on the internet to pay for dental work. That's right, dental work. That's expensive, not even covered in Obamacare, or barely covered. How are you gonna pay for that if you don't have money, right? Well, here's a way to, to do that. Okay, or don't get screwed by student loans. People are ripping you off with student loans. People who are consolidating student loans are ripping you off. That's all government stuff. Uh, I'll show you how to do that in here. And don't trust a, gan <coughs> a grant salesman. <coughs> Anybody selling you about grants, I want to explain to you or teach it. No, if you really want to know about grants, there's free seminars on that. Your congressman and senator will help you that. And I'll show you uh, how to get that. Or how about free money to live on while you start your business? That's right, free money to live on while you start your business. This is a government program. Nobody knows about it. They're not gonna be signs up. You Google something like that, you'll never find it. Believe me, <laughs> I've tried to show. How about free bikes and helmets and Wi-Fi in your city? Cities are, are realizing, you know, bicycles or Wi-Fi and things are becoming important for people to grow in a city. So a lot of cities are doing that for free. Find out about that. Uh, here, or, or, or the government still can't give out all their money. Now, I'll show you how the $12 million, right in my state alone, for people who want to go to college, nobody applied for it. Stupid, silly. Yeah. So that, these are the kind of things I want to show you. Uh, the government sued your mortgage company and given you the money. Right, mortgage companies have been ripping people off for years now, right? So now, when the government gets the money, then they want you to give you some of that back. Uncle Sam will pay your travel the world by telling people these are wonderful travel opportunities free by the government and, and they're looking for people to represent America all over the, the world just to do you know easy kind of stuff. Uh, the law gives an extra nine hundred dollars to pay your mortgage. That's right. That's a new law now. Extra extra nine hundred bucks to pay your mortgage or a thousand dollars. You could get a thousand dollars from bill collectors. They're calling you, want your money, they screw up, call you wrong time, they make a wrong statement or whatever. You know the rules and how to enforce them. You get a thousand bucks from them instead of them getting the money from you. Take Investment Corp by the world's greatest experts. We go to these financial counselors or whatever and all these uh, courses that pay hundreds of thousands of dollars. There's guys with Nobel Prizes in economics. You could take them for free. These are MOOCs, these courses that you could take from famous universities now free. You just have to know that they're there. Uh, how about free internet access to homes and laptops up to 150? So there's programs now for, uh, with free internet access uh, and discounts on it. So make sure, and actually there's a new one I'm going to be talking to you about soon too. Uh, learn where to get your help for your debt problems, right? Don't go to credit repair people or whatever. No, there's special help. Government gives grants to people to help you that for free. So make sure you check with them first. A discount on your phone service, you know, your, your cell phone or whatever, you have trouble paying that. That could be a $50 bill easy for all that kind of stuff. Well, make sure if you're lower income, there's money for that. Or how about $60,000 to pay your student debt? They got, you know, there's some government jobs now. They'll give you that $60,000. You you apply for that job, you get the job, you get an extra $60,000 to pay your student debt. Or, or how about this? Get $40,000 in disaster relief money when you have no disaster. See, that's the problem. We don't even know to ask for the thing. This is why I quite, where the question mark suits. You know, uh, there, there's so much stuff. The answers are easy. You Google them and you get a million or dazillion or answers, but it's asking the right question. You know, you can make from zero to $90,000 or get $30,000 to pay your mortgage or $5,000 to pay your rent. That's a new program. I'll tell you about that. 15 minute meeting and a one paragraph letter to get $30,000 grant for your business. 15 minutes, a one paragraph letter. I, I interview the person who does this, <laughs> has gotten it for himself. <laughs> so watch that. How to make a thousand dollars a month on real estate business without owning real estate. This is what's happening in the, uh, the internet economy and everything. You're in the real estate business and you don't even have to <laughs> own any real estate. You know. Or $10,000 a month in free advertising. That's right. 
$10,000 a month in free advertising on the web. You know, so you want to advertise on the web or whatever. Well, now there's $10,000 of free advertising money, and it's, but it's for nonprofits. So you have a nonprofit, you have a church, community group, or whatever. Man, I mean, that's incredible. That's somebody giving you 120 grand a year, man. That's a wonderful. Well, here's a, a four year degree, college degree for only $10,000 from a major university. And, and here's one I think that's the most important uh, educational opportunity in the world now that you could get a degree from a very prestigious university that's giving out degrees in IT and business for free by wonderful, talented professors. It's all accredited and everything. Man, what we pay for in education in this country is just ridiculous. You know? and, and particularly, it's going to change. It's changing now slowly. So you got to learn these options. And that's what I try to do is show you options in life. So you all you see is what your neighbor did or what the headline is or what's the first three things on your Google searches. No, the life is the life is more bigger, more opportunities than that. And we make stupid decisions because we don't know all our opportunities and our options. So that's what I do is trying to show you these options in life that you could take advantage of, you know, that are there for anybody. It takes some effort. It takes some research. But you have one idiot like me doing all the research. I love doing this stuff. <laughs> and that's why I want to share it with as many people as possible. Okay, the internet has become real important in our lives, right? I mean, all the job applications, the information, uh, health problems can be solved. I mean, so much. If you don't have the internet, man, I think you're screwed in today's life, you know? Uh, and that's why there's more and more programs popping up for you to get the internet. Like now, you could borrow the internet from your public library. Depending on where you live, this seems to be a new program that's popping up. Like New York public libraries have it where you can take it for a year. Right? So you, go, you go to the public library, sign up, all you need is a card. They have no income requirements at all. You know? <laughs> and you get like a hotspot that you take home and somebody else is paying for your internet that you have at home. Man, you don't have to go to the library to use it. You use it at home. Yeah, it's the same. St. Paul has this too in their library system. You know, see, the library is becoming hip. Uh, we did an interview with the local public library and too that you can come into the library, you know, it is a public library, man, and they'll sit down with you and help you set up your business online. <laughs> you don't have to hire an expert, you know, these kinds of things. Man, it, it, it's so important. I mean, and, and kids, like, I think 50% of low-income children have no internet access at home. How the hell are you going to do anything in life now anymore? You know, the information and the help and everything, the opportunities, are here you know and if you don't have that man i think you're behind the eight ball and you can't take advantage of things you know uh and forever even older people aren't used to it man you got to start getting used to it. you're going to live for another 10 20 years <laughs> and all the help that you got to know about yeah whether it's medical help or money help or anything sort of thing, it's available here on the internet and so that's why there's many organizations now uh giving this out for next to nothing or nothing or whatever the people really need it because you're, you're out of the system. Man, if we spend so much money educating kids and they don't have internet, you know, that's silly. And the same, you know, if low-income people don't have income, uh, internet to get out of their low-income status, <laughs> that's the only way you're going to get out of that status anymore. You have to have it. And there's another organization, uh, Connect. Oh, what the heck it is. Uh, uh, connect. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> connect to compete.org that's the name of the organization and they're a group of cable providers that are uh, really managed by the government who provide their internet services for free or, or or next to nothing so you could check out that too and we we did an interview on them on the past about them uh, a video link uh, on YouTube we have that so it's all this stuff that's out there and they look at the local library I mean I, I've talked to, I've, I've been Given speech to libraries where even have 3D computers you could use. Man, you the inventor spaces. You go there and you're a inventor and they get all this free help for you at your local public library. Remember them? <laughs> the public library thought they would disappear. No, they're becoming more important because they're the ones that know how to use these tools, you know. <laughs> and, and and you could get help and you can always get them on the phone, man. I, I, I just text the public library people at, at uh, uh, New York, New York City Public Library. 
eight and a half million people, you know, <laughs> and then like two, three million people, no internet access at home. So that's why it's so important, you know, to get this internet access. I mean, I, I think it should be free for everybody. It should be like the roads. We have the roads to get to where we have to do and, and do things that are publicly funded. Well, now, man, it, it should be the internet. It's becoming more important, I think, than the roads in our society. And there's some cities are going that way. I mean, um, uh, what is it? Some of them in Tennessee, I know, that they have internet access probably for everybody. I mean, Korea, South Korea, it's almost next to nothing and everybody gets it over there. They're, they're the ones that are going to compete in the world. Uh, I use it all the time to make money and, and to do all the things I want. Uh, and, and we're all going to live more and more that way. If you're not now, it's coming <laughs> to a laptop near you soon. <laughs>